Hello, welcome back to the Villa View as Aston Villa have signed Yannick Bellassi on loan for the rest of the season. So Dan, done deal at last. We finally got another one through the door. Good signing, potentially. To be honest, I'm just relieved after the abuse I took on Twitter when <laughs> he went he went to Borough to, to have a look have a look around. I'm just just relieved that that he's here. I'm ex- expecting a few apologies now because I do think I was the first person that said that Balassi was close on social media because everyone out everywhere else seemed to be saying that he wasn't going down to the Championship. So yeah. I'm, I'm I'm pleased for, for for two reasons. One should lessen the abuse that I'm getting on <laughs> on social media and, and two I think he's a good signing well, when you put it out I, I think I texted you and said I've I've seen that he doesn't want to move down to a championship uh, championship club so is it sure is this going to happen like what's going on and then he pops up at Borough on the, on the night and it's like ah oh, Dan's got it wrong again no but again that's but what I should... there was the Tammy Abraham one but I suppose that one hasn't still actually gone live. away yet still live Roller. still live these things can change I've got my little black book of contacts now so <laughs> Hopefully it'll be be uh, more reliable than not. So he's obviously had some issues with with injury over over the years. Not actually played that many games for Everton, but obviously uh, got the move to Everton from from doing so well at Palace. If we can see some of that that form that got in the move, obviously down down a league as well. You'd hope that this is the sort of player that takes you up to that next level now. Yeah, when he's on top of his game, it's undoubtedly he's better than the Championship. But I think injuries have curtailed him a little bit. But he's still. A very good player that should find playing in the championship relatively comfortable, I would suggest. I mean, he's one of the most skillful footballers I've, I've ever seen play. Some of the, the tricks and stuff he does are unbelievable. Some of them are a bit bizarre as well, the one where he kind of touches the floor. So he's, he's got a few bizarre things up his locker as well. But he, he had a, f- a few really good seasons with Crystal Palace and that was what got him his move to, yeah. a, to a bigger team in Everton. But he, he seems a good character as well, which is always important. He's someone that likes... To, to have a laugh and a joke at the, at the right times. I think he's got a couple of friends or good friends already in the squad. And it, I think the fact he went to Middlesbrough first and had a look around, but then went to Villa the next day, I always thought that was a that was a decent sign because if if you'd liked Middlesbrough that much, you would have gone and signed there and then. But Villa Villa's still a momentous pull for for a lot of players playing for Villa. He's a he's a big deal for for a lot of footballers. So we're very lucky that even in the Championship. We can still persuade players to, to come and join us. I mean, look at John Terry. Yeah. Last year, but we def we were desperately in need of, of wide players, I and mean, we were desperately in need of someone who does something a little bit different. I think I think Balassi ticks both those boxes. Yeah, we were talking a little bit, weren't we, earlier about the whole Borough Villa going there and Tony Pulis and all this thing. There was a, there was a picture that come up on social media that just looked like it was shot on a potato. There was no proof that that was Balassi. It just looked like him and Tony Pulis. Whether it was, we don't know. But that that whole thing, obviously, we we're not privy to to transfers and whether this is a normal thing. But you'd imagine Everton were happy with both clubs' fees and wage contributions and things like that, and said, okay, you can go and speak to Borough and Villa, and maybe others were were in the mix as well. So to go from the media news, oh no, he's not stepping down, to then one day he's going to see Tony Pulis and Middlesbrough, and the next day he's down at Villa Park and Bodymore. It seems I don't know whether that's a normal thing or whether it's just that we found out that. A player has got an interest in both clubs. He's gone to see which one he prefers, and he's obviously picked Villa. And, and here we are. I'd imagine, and this is—I don't know Yannick Bellassi, so this is me completely guessing. I'd <laughs> imagine he, I'd imagine he'd already decided that he wanted to come to Villa, but because he's got a relationship with Tony Pulis, he's probably doing him the courtesy of going down there, having a look round, and yeah. have, having a chat. I imagine he'd have already been pretty much mind made up that he wanted to come and play for Villa rather than Middlesbrough historically. We're, we're a better team. We've probably got the be- the better setup behind the scenes. So he probably knew he's got mates here, like I said. He probably knew where he wanted to go, but he's played under Pulis before. He's played good football under Pulis before. He's probably got a good relationship with him. So he he went to see him, but ultimately, I think, as I say, Villa's a, a bigger pool than, than Middlesbrough. I mean, I know there was a time when I was younger and Middlesbrough suddenly started taking all our players and, and coaching staff, which I wasn't very happy with at, at the time. But we're both in the Championship... Villa's the bigger team. It makes sense for him to come to us, I think. And we're very short of wide players, so he knows he's going to get a game. Yeah, I was just going to say, how much do, how much of an impact do you think that he'll have now in terms of not just his position and where he'll be playing, but obviously we've talked a lot about that now means surely we can start playing full-backs in the full-back position and moving the full-backs to centre-back and, and that kind of thing now. Yeah, I just want to see players playing in their, in their right position. To so, be honest, it probably happens all over the place, but it does feel like it happens more often at Villa, but I'm probably paying more attention to it. A villain that you've just got square pegs in round holes. 
all the time. The thing I'm most interested in with Balassi is, is I think he takes a bit of bit of pressure off Grealish because he's a, he's another weapon that teams are going to have to stop and teams are going to have to yeah. set themselves up up to stop. So now maybe Grealish loses a man because quite often you'll find three men on on Grealish and it's difficult to operate. However good you are when that's happening, so it's just just another weapon and the kind again. I think he'll probably link up well with Grealish as well, and he's. I've said we've been a bit one-dimensional out wide, and I think, I think that's one thing Balassi can't be accused of. He, he's definitely not a one-dimensional footballer. Obviously, we don't know too much about how he is physically now with, with the injuries he's had and, and the lack of game time. Is he a, a signing that, obviously, if we're making signings, that they are for the first team, I know that, but is he somebody that we're going to see next game he's available or is it going to be a, a slow process to build him up again? I mean, I think he had a pre-season and I think he played in pre-season for, for Everton. I mean, obviously, a lot of players would have been away on international duty over the summer so I'd yeah. imagine he, I imagine he got his chance I'm sure in fact I'm sure I saw him get his chance in, in, in pre-season if Yannick Balassi is 100% right he isn't coming to Villa he isn't coming to step down and play in the Championship because someone in the Premier League would have him because he's a Premier League player so there's obviously yeah. an element of doubt around his fitness at the, the moment but he probably just needs games so if he gets a few games under his belt Villa gets his gets his confidence back maybe maybe that's the thing he's come back from injury and he hasn't played too much probably hasn't got his confidence back probably hasn't managed to get his top level back this is a good place for him to come and do that now because no disrespect to the championship he'll find that a lot easier than the Premier League he's coming up against lesser players that's just the way the way it is the championship is not as good a league as the, as the Premier League so it's, it's a good move for him I think it's a good move for Villa as well it adds a bit of pace to the team I think we're lacking yeah. We're lacking pace. It adds a bit of trickery, as I say. It takes pressure off really. So it's a good move for both parties and he, he gets to play for a big club, albeit in the Championship. I think we remember that he played left for Palace when Zaha played on the right. He could play on the left, could play centrally if he has to fill in do a job as well. Like It's a it's a, a player that can play, like we hear about Tanzay, he can play all across the back four. Balassi can sort of play anyway in that in that front three area. I'd expect we'll see him on the right and Adoma stays on the left would be, would be my guess now. But I guess we'll have to see what, what happens. He'll probably be playing... Holding midfield, won't he? No, 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 how we've been going up the, the last few games. I mean, he can do both comfortably. I think. I think that's the main thing. I think he's equally as comfortable. Yeah. On on either wing, and he'll he just brings something different. Whatever whatever flank he plays on. So we're maybe not done yet with with wingers either. I mean, they're still saying that we might try and get another another winger in as well. I know there's been another player at Bodymore Heath. I haven't got a clue who it is, but I know we're pretty close or in talks with someone else. So whether that's <laughs> a wing. Yourself, uh... Whether that's a winger or whether it's a left back, a centre back, I don't know. But perhaps we'll be bringing another winger in. I don't know. But Balassi could do any of the positions quite comfortably. So that's it for today's video. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll be making sure that we use them in a future video. If you're not already subscribed to the Villa View with your post notifications on, then if you could do that, that would be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to give the video a like while you're at it. Hopefully we'll be doing more of these signing videos in the coming weeks, because I'd definitely like to say let's get a few more buddies through the door. Stick with the channel, stick with the Villa, up the Villa. Bye, Dale, ITK. Oh, that's definitely good. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another one? Click one of the video options on screen now, and if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.